Hello everybody, this is Kelly Oblack with this week's Free Flow Wednesday. This is our inspiration board for the week and I loved all the floral elements, but it's nowhere near spring in my neck of the woods, so I used that to inspire some floral pattern paper on my layout. I also used this Maggie Holmes layout and I lifted it basically, and you'll definitely see how I did that. I have the same background paper, so that's why I use this layout. All right, so here are the papers I'm thinking about using, and I'm not quite sure how this is all going to work or you know what I'm using, but there's a blue floral in the background that I really like that I'm going to end up using. Right now, I'm cutting my background paper, and that's the paper with the very large uh, chevron, I guess that would be. In the back, it's the wood paper. And I'm trying to, I have a new trimmer that I, I think I'm playing with here. So I finally got that cut. I love the gold glitter on this. And there's the blue background paper that I was thinking about. So the wood chevron paper there is from Crate Paper Confetti. It's called Sparkling. Um, and then that blue floral paper is from Maggie Holmes Chasing Dreams, her newest collection, and it's called Delicate. And I love how that picked up on the um, like turquoise elements in my photo there. And my photo is a picture of all of my bags, including my suitcase, that I took to a crop. I had um, just gotten home and I piled them up there because I still needed to go downstairs to my scrapbook room, which is in my basement. Um, so I just thought, this is a ridiculous amount of stuff, but I'm just going to do that. And I have, um, when I go to this crop, I'm able to put a table behind me. So that's why I'm able to take so much stuff. And I don't do page kits or anything like that. I don't limit myself. Um, I just kind of scrap what inspires me. All right. So back to the layout. I'm now going to ink the edges of this paper. And that's with my Memento Dewdrop Gray Flannel Ink. And I'm going to, I cut that paper to four inches on um, that side there. And I'm thinking here about using this paper as, um, when Maggie did her layout, there was a little border between the two large vertical strips of paper there. So I'm thinking about doing that with mine as well but I'm not going to end up doing it. So I cut one of those pieces off to try to do that. And I like it like that, but now that I have it the other way, I really like it even better. So now what I'm doing is I'm taking that pink chevron paper, and that's from Maggie Holmes Shine. I have the paper pad, so I don't know exactly, or I don't have the paper pad, but the strip was cut off already, so I don't know exactly um, what the name of that paper is, but it is from Maggie Home Shine, and it's a, it has a chevron on it, and I love the bright pink of that. That bright pink is one of my bright pink and turquoise are my two favorite colors. So when I was looking at that strip, I just thought it was too bold for the layout. That um, I liked the softness of it without that bold strip in the middle. I like how the the chevron, gold chevron, is pointing towards the paper here. Or the picture, not the paper. <laughs> it is pointing towards paper too, I guess. So because we used those, the inspiration board had all those flowers on, I decided I wanted to use some flowers as well. So I grabbed the Bloom Ephemera pack there, and that's where that, um, where the floral shape is from that I have on there right now. And I'm going to play around a little bit with exactly which floral I use until I find the right one, but it is from the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection. And then I also found that heart there, that glitter heart, and since there's glitter on the paper, I definitely wanted to get some more gold into my layout here, which I did, and I'm going to change that a little bit here. And I toyed with adding um, other colors. You know, right now I basically have pink and blue and the neutrals of the gold and the wood color. Yeah, just kind of trying to figure out what I'm going to use here. I thought I wanted some sort of element to the right there. 
their inspiration piece does have something in that spot. So I was kind of toying with what that was going to be. Although in my mind, I also know that I need to have some sort of journaling element on here. I, I could have written directly on the page. And I keep trying to put things at the top there and it's just not working. So I'd also pulled out these old Heidi Swap chipboard pieces. They're a couple years old and I haven't used them all. And I found this one that says choose happy it's contagious and I thought that was pretty cool because you know my scrapbook supplies make me happy and it it's not a floral element but it has the the writing on it is very delicate so that kind of reminded me of the floral the delicateness of the floral on the inspiration board and now I'm going through another one of my crepe paper ephemera packs here and trying to figure out what to do. Now I like this journaling tag here um, because it it is it has that gold on it, but it's too dark. The the aqua on it is just really really dark, and it's pulling all the attention away from the photo to the tag. I also found the scissors, which I really liked and thought I might want to use. Um, because I was on a craft weekend, but that's not going to end up staying. And then I found this little card. It looks like a, a sales receipt or a sales check. And um, I decided I really liked that because it's it's light and um, and it doesn't pull the the attention. That's the word I'm looking for, away from the photo. That sales check is from the Crate Paper Craft Market Ephemera Pack. And I didn't tell you the um, Heidi Swap chipboard. I don't know exactly what collection that is. It just said stickers on it, and it was from 2013. So I don't think I've had it since 2013, but I think I bought it at Michael's. And But it's probably a couple, two or three years old for sure. All right, so now I have the basic formula down for my layout and one of the other reasons I put that choose happy chipboard up in the top left there was because on Maggie's original layout she had a banner up there so I wanted an element up up in that corner as well plus it looked very blank up there so I thought if I put something up there it would help and it it gives me a nice sort of diagonal line from the top left down to the bottom right of the photo I went to my fit thicker stash here and I found my Dear Lizzie Fox alphabet and that's going to be the perfect size for my title here. I'm going to call it just right as in you know is it too big too little or just right so it's just right for me maybe not enough for some people and it may be way too much for other people I'll, I'll grant you that but it's just right for me and I like these stickers. They're small. This is um, the second set of these that I've gone through. They're small, so they're they're really nice for titles in in um, tinier spots like this one is. Now I have to come back and I need to ink my elements as well. And thank goodness I did remember to do that before I glued everything down. just kind of getting things figured out here and realizing okay I hadn't glued my photo fully down because I didn't know where the elements were gonna stick in so I put just a tiny little bit on of glue on it before I'll do that sometimes but if you get it towards the center then you can usually get things tucked in or at least tucked in far enough even if you have to cut them a little bit and I'm fiddling around quite a bit with something that is actually pretty minor there trying to figure out where to get the sales check position so that it looks right to my eye and here we go inking the edges of the flower which is not going to be easy to do of course because there's so many little grooves and bumps but it's worth it that ink just helps pop things off the page especially when you have a busier pattern behind it which is what that floral is 
and on the floral the ink just gives the paper a place to end the pattern stops at the ink to your eyes I guess the best way I would explain that and now I have the flower flower I'm ready to glue that down because I like the placement there And then I just need to get my alpha here. And I'm going to touch the cluster there with the T. And then I'll do the same thing with the T in the word right. Um, and I'm doing that because that helps integrate the title into the cluster as well. So it, it makes sense, it fits together. The other thing I did here when I was placing my title is um, I, with the J and the R, I made sure that you couldn't see like the line of the paper through like the hole in the R. So it's just that hole in the R is just to the left of that paper. It just reads better to me. I know Shamel is a is one of the. Um, people that I probably first heard that from. I couldn't put my finger on why I didn't like it, but I did. So now I've added an exclamation point to it, which helps emphasize the fact that it is just right to me, but I also like that it touches more of that cluster. Now I've gone through and I wanted some more glitter up in the top left cluster up there with the chipboard, and also I decided I wanted a little bit more on the top of that sales check. So I went to my bag of punched hearts. The larger hearts are a Martha Stewart punch and the smaller heart there is from a punch from Bren, Ben Franklin, which is a small craft store near us. And then the glitter paper that I punched it from is from Recollections. And that just helps bring the glitter into all of the clusters so it helps make the large glitter chevron makes sense, I guess, because there's those touches of glitter throughout the layout. And then I'll put the little heart on top of that sales check there. And then I saw these little asterisks and I decided just to add them in because there were two of them there and I just thought they were a nice touch bringing the, the glitter's a little bit different in the alphabet. It's more like the glitter in the chevron. It's a finer glitter than the glitter of what the hearts were that I added. The heart from the ephemera pack was also fine glitter so it just helps bring that around and make a little bit more sense again within the layout. Now I'm just going to journal on that card. I'm using a, a .05 pit pen. Um, it's a Stadler, Stadler I think is who makes those. It's um, I just buy them at my local Hobby Lobby. And I like black pens. And I am actually journaling on a layout. I don't think you've seen much of that lately. I journal on the layouts all the time, but oftentimes I do it off camera just because it takes me a little bit to think about what I want to say on the layouts. All right, so this is the end. There's a still shot and a couple of detail shots. Hope you're all well, and we'll be back with another layout tomorrow. Bye.